We have Ludicrosity, for those of you who don't know, he won an absolute comeback when it came to a, a 2015 EU dual tournament. If you're taking on Rick, Rick, a heavy hitter in EU. Well known. Yeah, Rick's also playing Rat, so it's going to be hard for the Knight to win this. That leg drag, though. Yeah, that was nice. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Rick getting taken out. Oh, God. He kind of failed to dupe there. I'm not sure why he didn't dupe. So that means that TPL get to choose whether to pick the map or pick the sides first. And TPL has chosen to pick side. They chose to pick side now. Okay, so VK will ban Battlegrounds. What? I think they've had enough of Battlegrounds. I think everyone yeah. has had enough of Battlegrounds. Yeah, I, I like the map, but too much of it can be kind of boring. Oh, yeah. And then TPL will ban Hillside. Whoop. Um, VK will pick Dark Force. No surprises there. Of course they will. Of course they will. TPL will follow up with the Outpost pick. Ooh, that's... That's naughty. And then VK will ban Hideout. Oh, these are quick choices. They know what they want. Nice. And TPL bans Cove. Oh, and guess what? The map that will be played is undefined, which is Stones Hill. Okay, and the teams are all ready. Okay, cool. So TPL has a man arms and archer, so there's actually a lot of flank potential there. And I think uh, Archer is really crucial on this first objective. As I was saying earlier, the ability to pick off peasants from afar. I mean, uh, they have the perfect spawn for it, though. So, like, I'm following the Archer. He's going to run through the house. He's just going to stand up on the hill. He's got a, a clear... Yeah, he also there. has a short bow, too. Really smart pick. He's going to be able to get peasants really quick. Although he doesn't... It doesn't one shot. Oh, what? Oh, double what? trouble. Wow. Great throwing axe. Yeah. Highlight! That was, that's a good way to start things off. Oh, yeah. The archer thought he was safe shooting down one of the peasants, but no. Yeah, that was... That could have potentially been many peasants that were just saved because of that throwing axe. That was so nice. Was that... Oh, was that can, can throwing axes one hit an archer in the head? I, I thought that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, they can. I, I've never seen that before in my entire time I've played. I've never seen Archer get one hit by an axe. I don't think they do in vanilla. That is why, then. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's only a Mercs thing. Well, right. that is delicious. No, my lord. TPL kind of playing around on the hill. They're not really committing. It looks like they're leaning towards just going down this middle. I like what they're doing. They're waiting for their Archer to get off shots, but they're going to drop down. Yeah, you, you really want to plan things out when you come against the Virtual Nightmare's full force. <laughs> There's no room for ever fighting them. I mean, the only one safe, and he's barely safe, as we saw from the first... Oh, but here comes the knight. Oh, sneaky. It's gonna be Rick. He's gonna drop down to the river. Honestly, if I were him, I would just die. <laughs> he took a wrong turn there. He's gonna be decent, but maybe he can get, can get one or two peasants. He gets one. This knight's gonna chase mechanic him. Yep. Oh, oh but he uses the wall! <laughs> he will ah, go he's down, and he's gonna now. be so heavily decent, but his team is up. Rick is not near his team to support, so that's a positive that came from that. But Virtual Nightmare, it, it, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> a little bit of tea bagging coming out. Oh, that BM. <laughs> hey, no. There's a fight going on in the river. What's going on over here? Yeah, that was Barkas. Marcus. One thing, uh, a little note about Barkas. He is a heavy stam user. The amount of times I have seen him stam out is unbelievable. He, he, he dodges so much. Sometimes I think a bit too much. Like, he, he doesn't use it as situationally as he should. But he's still a hell of a player and a hell of a man at arms.
kind of just going back and forth right now. Cass is going to get it too. Barkus, see look, Barkus was doing great to read drag there, but just there was too many on him. By the time he parried, there was another attack coming in. He just he didn't have the time. For some reason though, TPL has been allowed to get a bunch of peasants. I'm not even really sure. Yeah, there is only how. ten peasants left. That that could be why they're losing the engagements because they're sending some people to the torches, and so that's why their engagements seem so weak. I mean, they've gotten all the close-range houses, so they need someone to flank and either kill ten peasants and, and well, actually, I think there's not enough houses. There's two, oh, three left. So they would. Are just gonna that. pick up three? You're gonna go down to the three vanguards, right there. And there's another fight going on in the river. Four will go down to double trouble. That's just four peasants left. A small family of peasants. And with the two picks from Chief and Luzakosti, that's The archer's start. taking shots. And look, these peasants are perfectly within this archer's crosshairs, but he's missing all these shots. Right, he ran out of time. Drag doing a lot of work. Yeah, I mean... Hubbard, so effective. The Phoenix Legion had two kills in that engagement, and Rag just comes in and annihilates three of their players. Just like, I will match your two kills and raise you one. Yep, yeah. so now there's five minutes left on the clock, and only three peasants remain. We do see use of the catapult, which could make or break. Nothing uh, not quite. I think oh, we'll it might have a tiny damage. Ah, uh, maybe. Actually, maybe... No, I didn't. Oh, Cass with a double! Barkus is running for his life. If he Four is in the village getting peasants. He's gonna get outnumbered here, though. One peasant remains. I mean, that that's just one... Ar just get the archer up there. Fire down. It's done. Where is the archer? I don't oh, know. Oh, he just spawned. He's, he's going 0 and 5, so he's definitely. But he's got the highest score, so he's been nailing those peasants. Yeah, they just need one more. VK's trying to buy as, as much time as they can. I'm pretty sure VK knows that they can't DNF them, but they're just trying to buy as much time as they can. Every second matters. I mean, Ligol is using up his ammo here, which. He really has time for the peasants. I mean, you run out of ammo fairly quickly. Oh my gosh, Barkus with the juke. He tricked them into thinking he was going to the left, but he went to the right. Can he get the peasant though? Not quite. Oh, Frank was there to stop him. In fact, there was a lot there to stop him. Yeah. He came so close. That That's one thing I do like about this map. And for some... <laughs> Chief missed the throwing axes on the peasant. Instead of just going oh, for the no. stab. Look, there's a knight... In the village for GPL though. He's gonna get one. That's Ludacross D. Oh, his team is coming in. They should be able to get one peasant. He's right there. There it is. There we go. It was gonna happen. Not bad for GPL, but they definitely could have done better. Kind of a lackluster first objective. Ooh. Oh, nice shot. The snipe. So now with 13 minutes, TPL are going to need to go pretty quick on this objective. And they've got a good start so far. They desync some of the VK members, but they haven't really pushed up that much. So now all of VK is here. One of the VK vanguards is tagged. Yeah, he's tagged heavily. I think he may... I don't... Uh, oh, that, yeah, that's definitely an arrow in his face. <laughs> yeah. And, and even from the short bow, that's a lot of damage. Like old team killing. We see it again. But TPL coming out on top in this engagement, only losing one player. That's really well. And they're still fairly close to their spawn, so he's going to get into position so fast. Yeah, I'd like to see them push up here, because look at these two. Well, now three, but if they push up on this, they can maybe kill these people quick enough and decent them. 
There is Legolt still using the shield. He switched along actually quite a while ago. Oh, I'm guessing he. he oh, his team didn't tell him. Lygol was there trying to shoot, and his team did not tell him that a knight was approaching him. Chief Hell's gonna win the engagement again. This is really good. Ooh, Chief with a Brandy Stock Massacre. This is what they need. They need this non-stop pushing of the cart to make up for the first objective. And so far, it's really good. We've seen a lot of trades. It is coming in favour of TPL though. Floor gonna give himself a double. We do see one of the VK players that is gonna be double trouble. A 2v1 does turn into a 1v1. The archer did pull back and pulled out the bow. Ludacrosty misjudging the amount of distance he could have gone away. But still, yeah, Floor just gonna pick barely up getting killed there. VK is kind of trickling now, but they will pick up Ed. Yeah, sometimes trickling can pay off, but it is a risky thing. You can either make th good things happen, or you're going to make things a hell of a lot worse. Exactly. So now VK, because because of the trickle that they made, actually works out for them. They're going to be able to push up. TPL Archer is going all the way left. I'm not sure what he's doing. Floor gained himself a triple in that engagement. A quad! Yeah, Floor is really good with that SY hander. Oh, the archer was all the way pushed up. How did he get around there? Did he flank all the way around or did he just push yeah. up and. Wow. He flanked all the way around. I'm not sure why, but I guess it worked out. Ooh. Oh, the archer doing a lot of damage. Oh, he gets <laughs> what? Sniped. Rick gets sniped very oh, nice. Like. Yeah. So now VK is going to push up again, but the TPL archer is still shooting away, tagging up Virtual Nightmare. Oh, so a nice lean back from there, Mr. Rag. Oh, look at this. The main engagement is so split up, TPL can just send Chief all the way to the cart. There's only one knight to hold this off. If this knight goes down, this is really bad. Uh, he and his, he's surrounded. He needs to stay close to the cart so they can't move it and somehow some... Oh. He gets one. Oh, and then it turns out the archer catches him. That'll be the worst thing ever. Cass? Cass gonna get a double. Yep. I believe he scooped up two kills with one strike there and a <laughs> headshot on Frank. He's so good. He's gonna go down now. Oh, oh he the Juker Oh, and if he stayed up there, he'd have been so good. Yeah, but he expected that's a shame. the knight to follow him. Very nicely done. So, messing up that jump was it actually turned out to be a good thing. Yeah. A lot of projectile damage coming out. Look, the archer's already there. He should be aiming for Rick. We can see Rick has lost his helmet. He's took a lot of damage from throwables. Chief without ranged. Brandy stop ranged. Mr. Rag so extending cool. a little bit. Rick's gonna pick up another. Oh, he's gonna attack that vanguard. He's doing a lot of work. Ooh, but this Vyhander stabs. Ooh. Yeah, those Vyhander stabs can be really nasty. You can drag those things all day long, and that animation is in your camera before you even know it. Yeah, they start in your body, basically. A lot of throwballs. You know, it, I'm just saying, if someone put a shield on their back, <laughs> maybe they'd take less damage. Maybe. But you'd have to, like, turn around a lot. 
Uh, it's all about the timing, as in anything in this game. Oh, and someone's on the catapult. Oh, two team kills coming out. That's so bad. Especially for the virtual night, because they were already losing players. Oh, and that's so bad. Cass isn't on the wall. Oh, oh man, <laughs> Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad from both sides. Yeah, and he like instantly that... got off and, and walked away. So, yeah, it wasn't that was possibly the worst engagement I've ever seen in this game. I mean, they, they lost precious time on the ramp because of that. Yeah. I mean, VK played that so poorly. Cass was on the ground for some reason, not on the wall ready for the oil. They got two team kills, but at the same time, TPL, we did a lot of team damage. But here's another engagement. The double trouble was caught out there, but luckily his teammate. Ooh, Mr. Rag for a minute. Oh, there's another team kill. Oh, everyone's getting the team kills all of a sudden. Is that the EU medic here? Oh, but it's team kill? It's, yeah, of course it is, you know. <laughs> Oh, damn. Mr. Rag gonna eat that axe. Another, another team, team kill! kill. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, loving we this need new a EU meta. team kill highlight reel. We Although, need that. I, I think we are seeing an absolute brilliant tactic right now. Kill the enemy so they cannot kill you and get a bit of score. Although, you will end yeah. for the minus, sir. Uh, insane drags right there by Rick. And they secured the ram, and the archer is going to run for his life. That was a bad time to turn around. Five minutes remaining on the clock, and they barely have any progress on this cart. It's going to be really difficult for TPL to take this, especially with VK pushing up so aggressively like this. Yeah, cause this, this, especially the spawns. Oh, God, crypt. <laughs> Reversed an enemy and brought it back round. And they're just going to keep pushing, because why not? Yeah, because the spawn that the Virtual Nightmares have is... It's going to cause TPL to win two engagements. We do see Barkus with a double, one of them was a burn. Going to restock his fire pot, good idea. TPL. What is this wait. archer duel going on here? Cass getting tagged up. Oh, Cass oh. is switched to archer. Nice. Yeah, like uh, as I was saying earlier, you want to be archer on this objective so that you can stay on that wall and be ready for the oil. So he switched a while ago. Ball's going to get the pick for TPL. He's going to run back to support his team. Good choice. Bark is going to get himself two kills in that one. Ludicrous with a knife. Bark with a triple, and that's a wipe. They might be able to get here if they. Someone needs to run to the oil. Game. Where is the archer at? Dead. Yeah, but he's, he can spawn. Oh no, it's going to be the oh, knight. Oh, they sent a knight. I think they, they just sent whoever was closest. Yeah. That kill feed. Just all of a sudden, all blue. <laughs> and now VK are going to be able to push up again, and this will. Burn about one or two minutes. So this is going to become. This is going to come down to the wire. And this is just to get to the next objective. Yeah, I don't even think they'll be able to complete the king objective. And uh, especially with how difficult the king objective is on Merc's mod, because that king can just crouch. He is going to get a fast heal. Yeah, that's the biggest something problem that if we were going to do other tournaments, I would seriously recommend one of the designers fix it. Yeah. It really just becomes a game of whoever does the first and second objective faster, because it's almost impossible to get the king. Especially at a competitive level, because in a casual, maybe the king will just stay there and... Oh, wow. <laughs> double trouble gain a double burn. Can they get the card? Look how close it is. It's close, but... Oh, Mr. A. Yep, VK going to finish that, and they may be able to push up aggressively. They're all there. Yeah, they should be able to, but look, again, Cass isn't on the wall. So, 
if TPL wins this engagement and he needs oil, they're not going to have the oil because he's not on the wall. Okay, we're going to be following Barkus because he has gone all the way around the back. I think he was seen by a vanguard and he's going to get challenged. That's the pick they need. They pick off Mr. Rag, but Cass returns to the favor, picking off four. Barkus could sneak past now. He doesn't need to do damage. Well, he does to support his he team. He picks up Cass. Yeah. Picks off the archer, then goes for the ramp. It is, it's not enough. Oh, but his more. team just come in. <gasps> Rick with the triple. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> BK just barely clutching that engagement with an amazing. And that could here. be that. That could be the final push. Just well, I think this will be their final push. I mean, they have one minute left. But honestly, all Rick single-handed side though. Yeah, that was really good. And now all BK need to do is just sit here and parry. That's all they need to do. Yeah, parry damage anyone if they go near the ramp. They take a lot of projectile damage though. Yeah, a, a lot of damage. Also, that that Vanguard from the back. Oh, I'm going to quite get it. Oh, he's trying so hard, but she. I, I think he, he gave up in the end. He just let it happen. Yeah, nothing he can really do there. Stuck in a corner, three players on. He tried his best. I, I don't. Even, I think if they sprinted and VK just let them, I don't even think they would have enough time. Yeah. So that was the half, so it's going to be an uphill battle for TPL, I mean that, that DNF. So we will be starting the second half here. Yeah, the second half, right now it was a DNF for anyone who wasn't here, just in case. On the yep. second objective, it was about 95% of the way there, the the door, so that was, that was something, we have to account for that. Right. Good attempt by TPL, just couldn't quite finish it up. It was kind of similar to the first objective if you look at it. They were on that one peasant for so long, but they couldn't just, they couldn't close it out. Okay, now I want to see if the Virtual Nightmares are going to go for the early burns, or whether they're going to try and get the hardest things first, because there are some hard to reach houses right at the back of the map. And it seems going to push for the ones at the back are generally better, right? Because the ones in front are closer to the attackers. This actually may be a good thing. I mean, I know the buildings are worth more, but they've just scooped up a lot of peasants. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of le you know, that's a less loose peasants. And that was an overthrow. Boy, who was that? You're going to get pulled. But that was double trouble. Completely missed the torch. Cass going to be using the crossbow. Yep, so they've already picked up about half the peasants, and look, if you look at all these um, closer houses, they're not burning, so that's still a lot of free peasants right there. Yeah, I mean, how much are these worth? Uh, two? Two, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, didn't it used to be five? It was crazy. Yeah. So there's ten peasants right in front of them if they burn all these close houses. That's ten, so they're pretty close to winning already. I mean, they have, but they uh, need one, to burn the houses. Three, four, five. They, they, I mean, they have five buildings close to them. If they burn them, they well, yeah, <laughs> they'll have like five peasants left to kill. Right. They, they should probably start burning these now. I think what they're going to do is they're going to have the person who spawned get the torches. That is a good idea, and everyone else, yeah, that, that's a good strategy. Even if they're not getting the peasants and they're just burning the buildings at the back, look at that, yeah, that burning that one. And the other one <laughs> going to the back. They still don't have anyone at the middle, so actually, I don't know. Maybe not? I, do they not realise that if they burn the, the closest buildings right now, they would only need to kill one peasant? I, I guess, so. well, they do have a knight coming now. He's a little bit late, but he will be able to get most of these houses. He just goes straight past. What? Okay. Uh, okay. It's serious <laughs> talk, EU. I. Oh, he's gonna go for. But. 
So he's going to go mean, from the sure. back and work his way up. And he missed! Oh no, I, th if, I swear to God, if that missed, I would have... Why is he burning the... Did he... I don't know what's going why, on. Why did he try and burn the, the church? I have no idea. There's one peasant left, though. They're looking for the peasant. Alright, there you yeah, go. That's the thing, there's one peasant. There's, there's three buildings up. Take your pick. <laughs> I know. I saw so many of them just run past it. Like, there's three peasants in front of you. you just I, I, I just I don't think they paid attention to how many were left. And they were just going all ham. <laughs> yeah. So, all ham, no the objective. With seven minutes, a lot better, a lot better than uh, TPL I got. Honestly, that, that, right there, the bur trying to burn that that took that church. That's that's tilted, me. I. <laughs> yeah, very smart of VK to push up here. Look at these two TPL knights; they're gonna get caught out. But here's the rest of the TPL squad. Yeah, I'm guessing there's good communication. They were they were ready. You know, they were spawned, they were saying, okay, we should be ready to reinforce. Ooh, and to snipe. Cass is gonna go down, and it's just. I'm not sure why Cass is still on the archery. I don't see the point. We do see a team kill, so that's the first team kill by TPL, I believe. At least this half. <laughs> yeah, at least this half. Oh god, the horrors. Ooh, the target switch by Rick. Misjudges where his opponent would be for the reverse. Casting a 1v1 with this brandy sock. They're both one hit. This would be really bad if um, TPL went in here. They don't have everyone there with them. Yeah. And VK are going to push up. Most of the time, these virtual night engagements, it's just a mosh pit, and then all of a sudden it spaces out, and everyone gets their 1v1s, and I mean, just, Barker just picked up three kills, because he disengaged, and then just... Oh, double trouble, I think he just got a quad. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Oh, and then, um, it, uh, of course... Of course, just get killed by the archer. The archer ruins the fun. Of course. That was really nice though. Double Trouble did a lot of damage that engagement. Was able to get four kills, I believe. I don't know what these vanguards are doing for virtual nightmares. We have Mr. Rag, and they were just kind of like loitering, just hanging back. It just seemed like a weird position. We do have the archer or TPL high on the rock. Oh, look at this vanguard fine. Look at this. Oh, he's gonna get spotted on the Okay, now Cryptos with an arrow in him is gonna go down. I was gonna say he's gotta try and make something happen, but he can't because he's dead. Yeah, Four had a really nice flank there. He was able to take the attention of the knight away from the main engagement, and he also did a lot of damage. I really like the spot that the archer has taken up on the hill. He's pretty much immune from there, and he's able to just poke away. PPL, they needed this for the first half. Where did this come from? It's that archer spot, dude. He's doing so much work. I'm guessing he's like, just more of a defensive archer than an offensive. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's generally easier in defense. Like, he right? literally just ran up to towards the enemy spawn, collected the ammo, fell back. Yeah. He's fully armed again. This is a weird engagement. Oh, but I if you like look, uh, the two knights are approaching past. the archer. They left the archer completely exposed. Of course, the team kill, though. Always gotta have a team kill. Ooh, Barker's reading the feints and punishing for it. One thing we are seeing from Barker is he's extremely wild, misses a lot of strikes. And it causes him to stun it quicker. Yeah. Interesting broadsword choice. For a second, I thought that was a falchion. He's doing excellently to stab his opponent out, though. Double Trouble's uh, getting rather annoyed at it, I imagine. Oh! It, it's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, he catches the leg of Barkus. Wow. Rick just got 
five, I think. Well, I, I can safely assume that watching two people dance like that with no stam was more entertaining than a five <laughs> kill streak. <laughs> Just saying. And then Rick team killed, of course. Gotta, gotta have the team kill. Oh, it wouldn't be a you if you were. Oh, a great kill. shot. Ooh, damn. Hey, team gave himself a double. He's seeking that triple. His team's gonna come in to support him. <laughs> and Mr. Rag trying to run for his life. He's gonna go down. And Cryptos just could not catch a break. This is something virtual nightmares the TPL. does really well is they push up a lot, but TPL starting to push up now. But in the past, they've kind of been reluctant to push up. Interesting shield from Double Trouble. He's able oh. to block a lot. I mean, all that did was keep him alive a little bit longer. TPL gonna push up very aggressive now. VK sending one knight on the flank. I think sort that of. was called. Uh, yeah, Barkus has definitely saw it. He's not gonna directly chase, he's gonna head him off. Oh, the ram's at the gate! Oh, looks like they had someone flank. I, I, I heard the ram and I'm like, Barkus. what? Sneaky VK. Are yeah, that's good. Are they adopting uh, some sneaky rather than raw power? Possibly. I mean, Mr. Rag is going to be using a claymore. Anyone that knows that weapon knows that it, it's going to get fast. Although he takes the blender stuck to the face, so take it with the grain of salt. Very nicely done by TPL. I feel like yeah. they're playing a lot better now. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I just think they're more of a defensive team. Could be. And who knows, maybe what I said isn't true. Maybe they'll be able to prevent Virtual Nightmares from getting more progress onto this. I there mean, is nine minutes left, is a long time for where the RAM is, but that, they've, they've been holding off so far, and uh, it was a sneaky tactic that only got the RAM to where it is now. Alright. Oh, they need to capitalize on this Vanguard. Look at this Vanguard. Yeah, he is way out of position. And he's going to get shot in the back. No, the, the archer misses the point blank. Oh, oh no. Oh my no. god. The big throws. The choke. Well, I think that's game right there. Because um, they don't have anyone on oil. They're not spawning anytime soon. So that's, uh, that's game. Yeah, that, that's a good hard bang, which is what we like to see in EU. Oh, the throwing axe does stop him, but we can. We, that is definitely more progression than. I mean, they literally just have to hop yeah. for a split second, and there you go. The man arms through the fire pot. But yeah, I saw that, register. and it didn't do anything. Dude, that's kind of. That kind of sucks. Oh, it was a dud. That's why you don't scrimp, you know, when it comes to money and buying fire pots, because. They, they won't work on you. You'll just spill the oil on the floor and you'll look like a dummy. <laughs> yeah. So, VK will win, but they will play it out. Yeah, I think there's usual. time to play it out. Yeah, there should be time. Yeah. It's gonna be really boring though, just watching the king run around. Well, we thing. I have seen the king die before. I mean, it doesn't happen every day, but... Oh, yeah, it it's not impossible. I just... <laughs> there he goes. All around the map. Ludicrosity, a very competent knight, so he should be able to stay alive for quite a while. I, mean, I don't think he should rotate this way. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, his team just sniped everyone that chased him. And then he's back safely. This is ridiculous. Yeah, we're just gonna be seeing a lot of that. Where the king just. Where's the Benny Hill thing too when you need it? Yeah. 
That's the thing too, like archers are pretty irrelevant on this objective. And, and, and to be honest, so are fire pots. I mean, they, they will do damage, but he's just going to heal it right up. Fire pots can be okay because there's that ammo box pretty close to the, the main entrance. Lean back. Extending the branch dot time like that is so horrible when it happens to you, but god you love it when you do it. Uh, for some reason there's a lone vanguard trying to assassinate the king. Oh, we just get a pick though. Damn! That was a weird drag by rag. That that looked like it dragged like a great sword for a second there. Alright, so we do have to get ready for the third place decider match, so they will be leaving now. Oh, that's a shame, but to be honest it would have just been the king doing exactly what he's doing now. Yeah. For about ten more minutes.